Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. This is God's gift. It is uh, March 7th. Oh my gosh, where's the time going? Um, I wanted to bring to you guys um, a dream that I had a couple days ago. Um, the Lord really put something on me that time is really, really short with all of us right now. Um, what happened was I was uh, in this... I was take, being taken through this new house, and it was it was a small house. It had white walls, and the kitchen was just beautifully set, and it had these cupboards that looked almost like a light paneling, but that it wasn't paneling. But anyway, um, I'm I'm being taken through it, and um, I don't know if it was the Holy Spirit lead me. I don't know who who was taking me through this house but um it it was just so simple but it was beautiful and it wasn't anything big but I remember in the dream that I was thinking I could really live here this is really cute and so the guy took me around to all these rooms and he said are you interested in this house and I said yes I, I am I really like it and so he says, well, I want to show you something because I know you're going to be the owner of this. So he took me over to the kitchen and to the right of the kitchen, there was like that same paneling. It was just real shiny wood grain looking. And on the wall, there was a, about a quarter size um, keyhole. Kind of it looked, it reminded me of a keyhole to a car and it was silver and he goes over and he presses his hand on this on his keyhole and this wall opens up and it's like 18 inches thick and I'm like oh my gosh and and there was all these shelving inside of this room and he says you can have anything in here this is all yours it was all decorated and it had uh, these shelves that were probably about 10 feet tall and probably about three foot wide and he uh, he says, you can have anything on these shelves you want. And I'm looking around the room, and there was like a, a basement. It led down, and it was dark, and I thought, I don't want to go down there. I want to see what's up here. So he says, you can have anything on any of the shelves. And I was like, I want that top shelf. I want to see what's up there. So there was a little round table in the middle of the room, and I grabbed this uh, wooden chair, and I stuck it up next to the shelves and I was reaching up and I could just, it was like the shelf was like right here. I couldn't really see what was on it, but I reached up and there was uh, binoculars. I remember there was a bunch of things up there, but there was some binoculars there and I grabbed them and I got back down and I don't know where the guy went, but I go out of this room and there's all these people entering into the house. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back in this room. So I hit the key thing and the door opens up. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're going to see how to get in here now. They're going to know how to get in here. And I heard him say, no, they can't get in here. Only you can get in here. And so I went back in and I grabbed the chair again. And I went back and I, I was reaching the top shelf. It was like my arms were able to reach the whole shelf. And, and then I woke up what I got out of this dream was we're reaching the top we're reaching our destination we're we're gathering things the binoculars I I feel like the Lord was showing me the things that we see now in our in our own sight are going to manifest into the spiritual we're going to be able to see new things in a new way sisters and brothers we're we're here I mean I just I've these dreams that I'm getting is is him showing us how close we are um, I'm still wondering what the 16th brings I know that um, the 311 whether it be a time or a date I really feel like there's a double outpouring maybe one on the 11th and one on the 16th and then we go I, I don't know I'm just trying to put this all together um, I pray that you guys are blessed because these these dreams mean something. The Lord is showing us how close we are. He's trying to gather us together and bring us, our thoughts all into one accord so that we know. We, he told me a while back, 
you will all know at the same time. And I believe we're reaching this point where everybody is getting dreams and visions and words and understanding that we're here. Look at Israel. Look at the peace agreement. Look at the earthquakes ramping up. Look at the storms moving across the United States. These storms are sent to wake people up. And I don't think if your family and friends and loved ones are like the ones I know, it's not moving them. They're not seeing it. it and he needs to do more and he will do more. But we, um, the body of Christ who are awake, we see what's going on. Obama is about to move into position, but that will be after we're taken. I truly believe that we will not be here. We already, it's already revealed to us who, who he is. And so things are being set up. Um, sisters and brothers, I was just talking to someone today, my sister Della, and I, and I talked to her yesterday and I said, you know what? I said, I feel like the spirit has been moving more. It was like maybe once a year you would get that really just amazing connection where we all were just getting that burst, you know, not that you don't always have it because you do, but I'm talking about the burst that goes throughout the whole body of Christ worldwide. And I noticed that this went from years to months to weeks. Now we're down to days. I know that you guys are tired and, and things are, are just really pressing in on you, but keep going, sisters and brothers. And I want to tell you something that the Lord showed me. Listen to Zeb, um, her channel. She put up a thing today about how they're using frequencies to manipulate minds and bring anger and hatred and all these thoughts into people's minds. I, I pray that you guys watch her channel. It was very uh, amazing. And it was like when he told me the frequencies, they're changing the frequencies. He told me this months ago, sisters and brothers, that's what they're doing. They're doing it to make puppets out of people. We're here. Keep your eyes open. Jesus Christ is coming. If you are not saved, I pray, I plead with you. Listen to the watchmen. We are here, sent here to wake you up. Jesus Christ is moving in a ways that we have never seen. He is, he is shaking the body awake please if you're hearing anything from him if you're going through anything he is using everything to wake you up whether it's sickness disease friends family whatever's going on in your life pay attention and ask him lord is this of you is this you trying to wake me up out of out of my sleep to know that you're coming i pray that you guys are blessed call on jesus christ your lord and savior he is the only way if you need help, leave me a message. I'll be glad to help you out. I love you all. This is God's gift, and know you are going home very soon. Love you. Bye.